If you are having some late night sugar cravings, it is time to stock up. I'm Alex Jameson. I've got some great ideas on how you can manage those late night sugar cravings. Here's the deal. You have got to stock up on tea, okay? Listen, I have probably close to 20 different kinds of tea in my house. And one of the reasons is because at night I often crave something sweet and comforting and something to sip on while I'm watching Game of Thrones or Modern Family, one of those. And I'll, I want to talk about all my different kinds of favorite tea and why you should have them nearby for those. There's my cat again. He just he wants to be here with us talking about sugar or not sugar, as the case may be. So one of my favorite nighttime teas is, he's knocking stuff off, that's okay. He is this yogi tea, it's called Soothing Caramel Bedtime. It's awesome, it has all of these sweet tasting herbs and spices in it. So there's no sugar, but it has the aroma and the effect of sweet because it's slightly spicy. Um, it has chamomile, which is a, a calmative for your nerves, which means it actually soothes your nervous system. Rooibos, chicory, nutmeg, and cinnamon, uh, and cardamom, and ginger, and clove, and those are all of those great baking kind of spices. So having the aroma of something that's baked without the actual baked good is actually a great way to soothe those sweet cravings that you have at night. So try one of these teas. They also have a tiny bit of natural stevia leaf in it, which is a non-carbohydrate sweetener made from a plant, the stevia leaf. Very, very safe, wonderful option. One of my other super califragilistic favorites is this peppermint chocolate from Republic of Tea. And this one has rooibos, carob, cocoa kernels, peppermint, blackberry leaves, mint, and chocolate. Yum. It's, again, it's so delicious. Great smell. It smells like a mint chocolate dessert. So having a cup of this is really going to satisfy that sweet flavor that you might crave at night. Now, in my first video, I told you that I wanted to talk a little bit about the three root causes of cravings. Now, there's nutritional cravings, which is why we talked about the protein from nuts and seeds in the first video. But there's also the emotional and physical cravings that come up. And especially late night sugar cravings, those may be directly linked to an emotional or a physical need. Now, if it's 1030 at night, you may have a physical need to just go to bed. It may just be time to go to bed, okay? Your body's saying, I'm tired. Yes, I want to stay up and watch another round of The Walking Dead. However, you have to get up at six and you have been totally stressed out and tired. Your body is saying, I need to sleep. Your brain is saying, no, 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 stay awake, watch TV, this is me time. So what happens is your brain says, okay, in order to stay awake, um, I need to eat something. And sugar is great because that gets my brain glucose up, up, up. However, when you add in sugar late at night, it can have this whole cascade of bad hormonal effects. You can actually end up feeling worse in the long run. So trying these teas at night, either hot or cold, and I wanna talk about iced tea for a minute. At any moment in my refrigerator, especially in the spring and summer, I have at least a couple different kinds of iced tea. This is a rooibos that I have actually put, I don't know if you can see, but I put a couple of whole vanilla beans in it Yum, it smells so good. That's gonna be delicious on those really hot nights that are coming up. And then I have a mint tea. I also have a jar of chamomile iced tea. So if it's hot and you want, maybe you're craving like ice cream. Well, maybe that cool, sweet tea will help satisfy the same kind of sweet craving that you have with the ice cream. So those are my top tips when it comes to the beverages you can use to help manage those late night sugar cravings. Now come back for our final little video that I'm going to talk about the other physical and emotional cravings that can sometimes come up and how you can handle them at night. So if you want to learn more about your cravings and find out your cravings type, take my little 26 question quiz at cravingsquiz.com and you can find out what your cravings type is, maybe your featherweight or firebrand or earth mama or earth papa. And one of those three cravings types, you'll get a full report that tells you what kinds of foods you should be eating to help you feel more balanced and aligned, what kind of exercises you can do. It's awesome. It's super fun. So go check it out at cravingsquiz.com and be sure to come back for the next and final video on late night sugar cravings. Mwah.